my name is Josephine Lang and I've devoted my life to health and healing and I've discovered a really wonderful nutritive cooling drink for us to enjoy during the summer hot summer days and I call it chia lemonade and I make it by making a standard lemonade which usually I do with a couple of lemons and a couple of limes and I'll go ahead and slice them in half and then I'll use the uh, whatever juicer you have to go ahead and make the juice and then after I get the juicer, the juicer full of juice, I pour it into a measuring cup like this. And uh, I have a little top of a jar sprouting screen. I go ahead and stir it and get the seeds out. I go ahead and pour a little honey into a measuring cup. I've got a little in here already. And if you've ever tried to pour, to mix honey with cold water, you know how difficult it is. So what I do is I take a little bit of the honey like this and then I just take a tiny bit of water, really just a little bit. And you'll see that if you only put a little bit in, it will mix quite readily for you. And so this could be your, you could start with the water or you could start with the lemon juice and lemon lime juice. And if you stir the honey into the water just a little bit like that, it will incorporate it very quickly, even faster than sugar, which I don't ever recommend people eat. So that's the way you get your honey incorporated into your lemonade. And then you have a lovely lemonade. I have some right here. So I just take my glass and I pour just a little bit of my concentrated lemon honey mixture into the glass. And then to that I add a little water because it's nice to have your lemonade is actually kind of nice when it's not so strong. And then the main trick is, is onto that I add chia seeds. And I have my chia seeds already pre-soaked. It's really good if you can soak them for 13 or more hours. I usually will prepare my chia seeds the night before and I let them sit overnight. And the way that I do that is I take a lovely, nice, I have a nice jar of chia seeds ready to go and I put them into one of these empty juice jars. I just make sure that it's dry on the bottom so that the chia seeds won't stick. And then I open up the top and I, using my, I have a Berkey water fil filter, which is a very nice water filter, Berkey, B-E-R-K-E-Y. And then I just pour the water in, and while I'm pouring the water in, I start to gyrate the chia seeds, so it would be something like this. I go ahead and let that get mixed up well in there. And then once I have the jar partially full of water, a little messy, I go ahead and shake it. And you really shake it a long time, like maybe at least a minute. And then um, I'll fill the jar up the rest of the way with water. That way you can see how all the chia seeds are being evenly dispersed in the liquid. And then after I get my chia seeds nice and soaked they're in, in the refrigerator, they're ready to go to add on top of my lovely lemonade. And so then what I do is I just pour them on top. And here we go. They kind of mix it first, but then, wonderfully enough, they start to settle out and they float up to the top, creating a little level of chia seeds right in your water there. And the nice thing about chia seeds is that they really tend to lower our C-reactive protein levels in the body. That is what is responsible for our inflammation levels. And you can see that nice level, isn't that great? Tastes delicious. Mmm. And it's so fun to eat, so fun to drink because the chia seeds, you know, have a lovely mouth feel to them. And um, chia seeds can lower cardiovascular uh, problems by 37 cents, there's 37 percent when they're taken regularly. And they also stabilize our blood sugars, which is really wonderful for us. And they're very high in omega-3 fatty acids and very low in omega-6 fatty acids. And when we have a high omega-3 profile, we really reduce the inflammation in the body. So things like joint pain, arthritis, or ulcerative colitis are greatly reduced by the use of chia seeds in the diet. And one of the nice things about chia is that it uh, doesn't go rancid. So you can have it on the shelf for a long time in a jar kept in a cool dark place and they won't go rancid on you, unlike flax seeds or some of the other seeds that are very sensitive to heat and light. So a chia seed is a wonderful source of, uh, of protein and omega-3 fatty acids. And in fact, chia is uh, I think it's seven times higher than salmon in omega-3 fatty acids, and it's a wonderful profile of carbohydrate, fat, and protein. So enjoy your lovely chia lemonade, and thanks so much for listening and for watching, and uh, please visit my website if you get a chance. It's stepintomagic.com. Bye for now.